Liquidity is the main drivers of the market. Hi Forex traders, my name is Francis and you're welcome once again to Carries Trading Institute. If you are a new viewer on this channel, I would like you to quickly click on the subscription button and don't forget, hit the notification bell so you stay updated every time I post a video. So in today's episode, I want to show you how to identify the most valid liquidity pools and where the liquidity is residing. So there are two types of liquidity. We have an external or internal range liquidity. Liquidity is either in form of an external range or liquidity is either from an internal range. So guys, let's go to the chat as I show you what it means to identify liquidity pools on the market. So guys, I'm back again and in today's video, like I said, liquidity is the main driver. Therefore, liquidity is what drives the market. I've been emphasizing that. So today I want to teach you uh, how to identify the most valid liquidity pool or where the pool of liquidity is residing and then the types of liquidity that exist in this market and are practically available and are applicable on every other assets that you know from forex stocks bonds equities crypto assets or other uh, or other or other indices or index that you will find on any financial market this concept i'm about to teach you is actually available and applicable on any asset you find okay so there are two types of liquidity liquidity is either residing as an external range liquidity or liquidity is either residing in an internal range you either have an external range liquidity or an internal range liquidity and most people only know about the external range liquidity because they have not paid attention if you paid attention to have really understood that liquidity is not just in external range it's not only about buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity okay the external range liquidity is actually residing in form of buy side liquidity residing above relative equal highs number two equal highs and number three old highs let me say this again i said an external range liquidity either resides in form of buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity and in buy side liquidity liquidity is either residing either above relative equal highs relative equal highs like i said equal highs or old highs i think there will be need for me to type this thing so that you would see it and understand what i'm trying to say i said that external range liquidity okay is either residing in form of buy side or or sell side liquidity okay or liquid or sell side liquidity so as buy side liquidity it's either residing above relative equal highs the highs may not be equal but they may be relatively equal or equal highs and the last is old high this is how you identify buy side liquidity it's either residing above relative equal highs equal highs or old highs okay then we have the sell side liquidity and sell side liquidity is actually residing either below not above this time around it's residing below relative equal lows they may not be equal but they may relatively be equal relative equal lows equal lows and the last is old low or old lows okay once you see this this is sell side liquidity residing below marketplace this is what drives price anywhere when price is going up or when price is trading from an internal range it's only going to trade away from an internal range because there is either buy side liquidity residing above equal highs relative equal highs or old highs or if price is trading away from an internal range and wants to move down the only reason why to do that is because there are liquidity residing there is a pool of liquidity residing below relative equal lows equal lows or old 
lows these three things are the things you should pay attention to when you are identifying external range liquidity but that's not all that there is to liquidity concept there's another form of liquidity that most people are not aware of because they've not paid attention to it okay so the next form of liquidity is liquidity in an internal range because liquidity in an internal range is what is going to drive price into an internal range that's why you notice every time or most of the times price takes out an old high it will usually retrace into an internal range before it continues again that higher highs and higher lows forming the formation of a higher loan is actually a repricing into an internal range liquidity the formation of a higher high is actually an expansion into an external range liquidity this is what happens the formation of a lower low is an expansion into sell side liquidity residing below equal lows relative equal lows or old lows the formation of a lower high is actually a repricing into an internal range liquidity so what are these internal range liquidity internal range liquidity resides in three forms just like the external range liquidity it's either equal or relative or old high or low that's the same way internal range liquidity resides in three forms in three forms so what are these three forms number one is fair value gap if you knew this before i recorded this video type in the comments section i knew this okay but if you are knowing this for the first time type it in the comment section i'm learning this for the first time fair value gap the number two is liquidity void then number three is order block these are the three indices that validate an internal range liquidity or internal range liquidity actually resides either in fair value gap or as fair value gap or liquidity void or other block okay now every time price takes out an old high or external range liquidity the algorithm is the algorithm is structured in a way that price should reprise into an internal range after an external range liquidity is taken out so let's quickly go to the chart as i show you this is a previous bullish trend you would agree with me that all through all along here we had a bullish trend right and in a bullish trend we are expecting that price should form higher highs and higher lows which is correct now this is where price was and then we had a shift or breaking market structure price retraced into another block that means we are expecting price to go up where is it going to go into it's going to go into an external range liquidity and in this case what is this external range liquidity or which of the external range liquidity are we seeing here we are seeing an old high or equal high because the body of the candles here are equal and when dealing with liquidity we want to pay attention more to the candle bodies than the candle wicks however we said old high is an external range liquidity so we have an old high residing there that means there are a pool of buy side liquidity residing here so price traded from here internal range okay and we said internal range liquidity is what fair value gap or other blocks now look at this price book structure price traded into an other block right internal range liquidity right why because an old high is taken out price retraced into internal range what is that internal range fair value gap order block liquidity void which one are you seeing we are seeing a fair value gap and we are seeing an order block and we said the most valid order block is the one that has a fair value gap attached to it so price traded into that internal range liquidity here then we are expecting price to expand to the upside expand into what into an external range liquidity where is the immediate external range liquidity here okay this is one and ultimately this is an external range liquidity so look at this price took out external range liquidity what is going to happen next price should trade into an internal range liquidity what are internal range liquidity fair value gaps liquidity void order block what do we see here liquidity void we are seeing fair value gap so let's outline this fair value gap that price traded into now the question is 
how do I know which of the fair value gaps or which of the liquidity voids price is going to retrace into? Okay, now this is why you should use your Fibonacci to mark out levels, especially premium to discount levels. I hope I'll be able to do a video to teach you on how to mark out um, swing points. So this is a swing point, two swing points between the low to the high. Okay, or if you want, you can ultimately choose this low, the most obvious one you are seeing here. That's the last swing low. This is the last swing high, right? As price is about to retrace, where is it going to retrace into? We love to see it retrace into at least 50% of the range or below 50% because below 50% is discount, above 50% of Fibonacci level is premium. So look at this, this is 50%. So what institutional reference point do you see or what liquidity pool do you see at 50% or below 50%? We are seeing a fair value gap which is internal range liquidity at 50%, then you mark out this and you mark out this. Once price trades into that internal range, it will give you a confirmatory signature that it wants to go up from the lower time frames and you will know it. Okay, so price traded into this internal range liquidity, which is fair value gap in this case. Price expands to the upside, takes out what? External range liquidity. Where is the next external range liquidity, guys? External range liquidity. What kind of external range liquidity is this? buy side liquidity residing above old high then what is next price will trade into an internal range what internal range liquidity are we seeing here we are seeing fair value gap we are seeing other block okay so price traded into a deep discount this time around this other block price traded into it okay price traded into it internal range liquidity you will know when this is going to hold price will give you lower time frame confirmatory signature especially the one hour or four hour time frame then price started going up where is it going to go into it's going to trade into external range this is the external range liquidity guys this is one of the best ways to know where to take profit okay this is how to know where to take profit because you are not just going to place take profit without knowing where price is going to trade into price is actually trading from one point to the other specifically not just random because price delivery has never been random external range liquidity old high and then we said there is a pool of liquidity residing above old highs price is going to retrace into what level internal range liquidity fair value gap fair value gap fair value gap other block outline the fair value gaps this is one internal this is another internal this is another internal this was the one that held that retracement okay i told you you will know when this is going to hold right price is going to go up where is it going to go into external range liquidity so you see that this is actually not random right that was in a bearish trend let's quickly look at a bearish market structure this is an expansion to the downside price took out external range liquidity where is that external range old high or relative equal highs sell side liquidity residing below its price tapped into it and price retraced into what fair value gaps which is internal range liquidity you see how simple it is how price how simple price delivery is when you know what you are doing right price traded into internal range price expanded where is going where is it going to expand into external range liquidity where is the external range liquidity this old low this old low or relative equal lows the body of the candles here that's the external range liquidity price traded into it you see that where is price going to retrace into internal range liquidity fair value gap here was retested okay and then price expanded to the downside here price tapped into it and then price look at how price just barely tapped into it okay and then price retraced into internal range what are the internal range fair value gaps in this case we have different variations of fair value gap volume imbalance liquidity void this is a liquidity void so price actually closed this liquidity void by trading into this volume imbalance and then price expanded into what external liquidity this old low 
traded into what again? Internal range liquidity, fair value gap. Okay? Expanded into what? External range liquidity. So guys, this is how to identify liquidity or where the liquidity is residing above or below the marketplace. If you like what I'm doing, kindly like, share and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I wish you good luck, good trading.